What is up guys and welcome to the final episode of the Ultimate Eleven series. Now today's episode is going to be featuring the Liga MX. Now before I start this video I want to say a quick thank you to Ultimate Team Coin Traders. If you want to go check out their website they're a very cheap and reliable source to buy your FIFA coins from. Now um, last episode I said if you put in the comment section uh, if you're PS3 or Xbox you can have a chance to win 50k. Um, there are you know still comments getting on there you know as I speak so what I'm going to do I'm going to do the cutoff point as uh, Monday 6 p.m. and then in tomorrow on Monday's video I will release the winner of that giveaway um, and be able to show you guys you know who has won the, the 50k and show me you know messaging him and stuff like that to prove it's all real um, so yeah let's move on to the squad then uh, the goalkeeper is going to be Corona the two centre backs are going to be Pereira and then we've also got Mosquera I uh, could have gone with the other centre back well the other centre back there um, if you can see him but, uh, you know, he's, uh, I don't know, I'd, I kind of prefer Mosquera. He's, he's he's a lot, in my opinion, a lot better. Um, just because he's got better defending head and stats, in my opinion. Um, so, the right back is going to be Estrada. Uh, and then the left back is going to be Velarde. So, Velarde has got 85 pace, 66 defending, and also 72 heading. And then, uh, as you can see here, Estrada has got 89 pace, 70 dribbling, 70 defending, and also 66 heading. So, really, really good player there. And then, of course, Pereira has got 82 pace, um, so he's absolutely a machine in the centre back position. Uh, the two centre mids then, the first one is going to be Quintero, and then the second one to partner him up is going to be uh, Rosane. So, Quintero, um, the reason I have actually included him is because I couldn't really put him in at striker, and I didn't really feel uh, I couldn't leave him out of the team because he is such a, a sort of high in demand player from this league um, that you know I, I wanted to include him and he's got great great stats on his card as well 85 pace 70 shooting 80 dribbling um, and I believe he has five star skill moves as well along with four star weak foot so a very good player there and then Rosane a fantastic player as well um, he's got 86 pace 73 dribbling 71 defending also 67 heading and then moving on to our wingers then the right mid is going to be Danilinho. And then the left mid is going to be Sam Buesa. Uh Two of these, are, well, both of these are very, very good players. Um, but I will move on to more detail about these players when I get into the gameplay in a second. So the two strikers are going to be Benitez, of course. He's absolutely just default. He's, he's like default to have in a league MX team. He's absolutely fantastic. And then the final striker is going to be Ray. You're probably thinking, why have you got this crap striker from you know, Colombia, um, who isn't even a shiny card. And he's actually the top scorer in the Liga MX as we speak. So I thought I had to put him in because I do like to, you know, sort of incorporate in real life, you know, fit stats and stuff like that into this team. So it's not just all the highest rated players or the best players on this game because of how they play in this game. So hopefully you guys understand that. And he is actually a fairly decent player. But um, we're going to move on to some gameplay now and I'll talk about the team in a second. See you then. Okay, so onto the gameplay side of things now. As you can see here, the first goal is with Pereira. Um, I think this was the first goal that I scored with him. And then here with Benitez, he's actually got a really, really good weak foot. Um, that left footed strike into the bottom right hand corner, you know, you don't really see that too often with the players of his rating. Um, he's a very, very overpowered player, put it that way. Um, and then Rosne here, he's got a fantastic strike on him. I really did enjoy using him. Um, and, you know, I don't know, I kind of feel like he, he should be worth a lot more than what he you know, he actually is. Um, I think I, he cost me like 8,000 coins or 7,000 coins and he really is, in my opinion, a 20k player, um, especially when he's a silver as well and producing goals like that um, game in, game out. So, um, sort of the other other few players which I really liked in this game um, for this team as well were the, were the wingers, you know, Sam Buesa. Um, he didn't actually have four star skill moves or anything like that, but... He was always there to run down the wing um, and he was always sort of, I don't know, able to get past players and the same with Dan Lino, you know, I really enjoyed using Dan Lino, um, probably because of his five star skill moves as well, there isn't much footage of it in here um, because, you know, I'm not really the most amazing skiller in the world so not a lot of the, you know, skill move kind of things actually paid off um, in the end but we're going to be showing you who we're going to be using for our Ultimate Eleven, um, and of course you've probably all guessed it by now but we're going to be using the left back from that team um, I kind of made this series a little bit annoyed like I kind of mucked up this series a little bit um, but if that left back space wasn't free um, 
I would have chosen Danilinho. As you see there, it has been, has been put into my reserves now. Um, but I felt, felt like I should just fill that left-back space. Um, he was actually a very, very good left-back. You know, it kind of is a coincidence because he is a very good player. Um, it really would have been a shambles if it was just some absolutely dire left-back. Um, so I am happy it is a good left-back. But what I want you guys to do now is, as you can see on the screen, there is the ultimate 11, including the subs, bench and reserves. Now, what I want you guys to do now is make my... Make me an ultimate 11 from these players. Um, now, in the starting 11, there can only be one player from each league. So, you can swap out um, Sergio Ramos for Ronaldo. You can swap out Henri for Benitez. You can swap out David Silva for Aguero. Um, but you can't have more than one player from the same league in the starting 11. So, if you guys can do that for me in the comment section below now, it would be really, really helpful. In the next episode, I will build that team and then I'll be able to show you guys some gameplay with it and show you how it really you know, plays as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. A thousand likes would be absolutely amazing for tomorrow's video, and peace.